Hi. I'm the multifarious fisherman. This is seven fish. We're in the goose inundated office today. The conditions are poor. The water is extremely dirty. They, they're used to this lake is normally quite clear. The, because of the clarity early on, they have a tremendous amount of weed growth. A lot of places to hide, but they have a hard time seeing your bait. And now the water's dirty. So they have a lot of obstruction in the way of weed growth. But they cut you couple that with the fact that they have limited visibility due to water clarity. So it's going to be a challenge today. Got to cover up. I've had a couple of moments of being remiss. Got a little sun, a little more than I wanted in a couple of spots. Okay. We are sun prepared. Okay, so outside weed edge, pre spawners, post spawn crappie, pre spawn bluegill seem to be in here together. I think these guys might be pretty close to spawning, to be honest. I'm not seeing the big gravid females I was seeing last week. Today's Sunday I was on a pretty good bluegill bite and crappie bite, to be frank. On Wednesday, caught a lot of bluegills, but not, but only a couple big ones on uh, Friday. Doing the same thing we were doing on Wednesday. And now, Sunday, we're doing, we started doing the same thing, but weren't quite as in them. Now, we are in them, and not monsters, they're a mix of sizes. They're kind of running together right now. Bigger ones and the littler ones. You got my body off of my jig. That's okay, that'll happen. Not a big fella. Like that's pretty quick. Right in the roof. He wouldn't even hook that good. These fish have lost a lot of color because of the dirty water. But some of them still have it. And this water will clear back up. It's just been raining on and off for days. And they are literally right in there together. Let's talk about secret sauce. What we're doing, which has been quite effective. I mentioned I fished three lakes in a couple of days, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. What we found Wednesday, we're fishing a lake that is very, very clear, that had virtually no weed growth. The only structure in there is put in by homeowners. Fairly featureless, really. What we found fishing that lake was that the bluegill were not in the shallows where they are normally caught this time of year at that lake. The person that I was fishing with, who lives out there, wanted to see if we could figure it out and find them. We did manage to find, we found schools of fish on the locator in fairly deep water and there were Crappie, there were uh, crappie, bluegill, walleye, wiper, largemouth, catfish in good numbers in that lake and some big carp. But we weren't sure what it is that we were seeing, although the way they were schooling up would lead you to believe it would have been crappie or bluegill. With them being as deep as they were, you were kind of thinking maybe it wasn't the gills. We found some like in seven or eight foot of water, which isn't that deep. But we found a lot of them in 12 to 15, a lot of them. And uh, we even found some out in 18, 20, 
I think the deepest fish we caught was in 25, and it was a gill. Uh, there were a lot of gills out there, nice sized ones. That lake has some big bluegill. It has some small ones too, but it does have some big bluegill. We were excited because we we got down to them. We figured out kind of by getting the little da -da 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 -da, you know, you get the little machine gun bites. You know they're gills, but uh, we just really were having the struggle trying to get them to, to eat and get hooked. And we went to the secret sauce, which proved to be tremendously effective. And then we went lighter and lighter jig heads, which didn't help you with your sink rate, but boy, did it help you get in bit. Didn't shoot any video on Wednesday and shot a little video on Friday, but really only caught two big fish. The rest were all small, but there were weed edge fish that were smaller. That lake was very clear, but what we found was the bigger fish that we were kind of looking for initially were actually were actually up in really we're out in really deep water 17 foot uh, is where I got one of the nine and a quarter inch bluegill and I got a really nice crappie out there with them not what we were expecting but I think we're running six pound fluoro four or six pound fluoro not a big fish but a fighter on Fighter on six pound line and an ultralight rod. Okay, multifarious, my man. What is this secret sauce you keep talking about? Gopal Eye one inch minnow. They just seem to eat them. You know, it's the right size, it's got scent, it's got movement. We threw a bunch of stuff at them on Wednesday. You wouldn't think they would be particularly picky this time of year and they were it's pretty selective that lake is really clear and the fish had a chance to look at it for a long time I'm out here in the middle of nothing and that guy was out here I say I'm in the middle of nothing I'm not really in the middle of nothing I'm on a channel edge near a bend in the channel there's some weed growth this thing can be cast and retrieved or hung straight down. Doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. As long as you keep it at the right level. So if you want to cover water or if you've already beaten up your spot a little bit and you want to get out around. Oh, we haven't seen one of these guys over here. Now. Dang it. Secret sauce is definitely working. It's going to be a gill because he was making circles. And that's going to be a crappie. And a real nice one. Not fat, but definitely longer. Look at this. The giant mouth on him. I'm going to tip the boat over doing this, but there's your thumbnail, probably. Bluegill, crappie, crappie, bluegill. It's got two nice sized deer run really fast away from here. <laughs> 